Hi guys, welcome. My name is Ivan Ippolit. I'm from F4 Gym Amsterdam. I'm here today to show you the basic style of uh, Dutch kickboxing. We'll introduce you what's about, why we are so famous worldwide about Dutch kickboxing. Here at my left hand is my student, Alexandro Getrouw. And together with me, we'll demonstrate some, some basic techniques, some high level techniques to give you an impression about Dutch kickboxing. So, as you know already, it's kickboxing. That means we have the boxing part and we have the kicking part. So let's focus now on the boxing part. In boxing, it's English boxing, we got three, only three punches. Straight, the hooks, and the uppercuts. And we got multiply combinations we can create out of that. But let's start first with the straight punches. So, when you make the straight punches, always make sure that you make it the straight punches. So step in with your feet, support your feet, your, your punch with your feet, and then pull back to your chin. So for example, I make the left punch, is step in, out. Step in, out. Cover your chin, make sure you twist your knuckles in, concentrate the power of your two knuckles to make sure that you got a good KO punch. Also with your right hand, stretch out, support with your right leg, and come back. So when I punch right, step in with your right leg, come back. Step in with your right leg, come back. So when I make it left, right, left, right, and come back. Left, right, and come back. Left, right, and come back. Alessandro will demonstrate it on our doll called Bob. So go. You see, you support the punch with stepping with the feet and pull back to your chin. Always make sure that you cover your chin for a counter punch. Left, right, that's it. Left, right, good. Twist in. Always make sure that you support the punch with your feet. So now we got the hooks. As I told you before, three punches, straight punches, hooks and uppercuts. So the same thing also support the punch with your feet. So when I make the left hook, I step in with your left feet. Step in and come back. Step in and come back. So don't stick your feet, keep your feet on the ground and only make the left punch because that means you will not support the power in your punch. So always step in and back. Step in and back. Also the same with your right hook. Step in with your right feet and back to the chin. Right hook and back to the chin. Right hook and back to the chin. So when I make left, right, left, right. Support with your feet. Left, right, and come back. Left, right, and come back. So we're gonna demonstrate it now on the door. And support. Step in. Punch number three, uppercut. Why it's uppercut? Because you make it from up, under, up. That's why it's called uppercut. So, first of all, let's, go, let's say I've got my opponent, the same height. So that means I have to crawl a little bit under and throw it up. So don't stand straight up with the same height of your opponent and only bring your hand down because that means you will don't have a defense and before you know, you get a counter punch. So what I basically mean is, don't stand still and like you're skiing and only throw the punch up. So first, twist low and then come up, yeah? One of my biggest example is Mike Tyson. You always crawl up and throw the uppercut. That's my idea. So the right hand, up. The left hand, up. So I now also now support with your feet. Uppercut, uppercut. So up, up, and again, up, up. So now we will demonstrate it on the door. Step in, right uppercut, that's it. Straight, hooks, uppercuts. Now we're getting back to the combination. As I told you, multiply combinations you can do. It depends on the situation in the fight. It depends on your opponent, which kind of uh, combination you will use. Most of all, there are a few 
basic elements you need to remind all the way. Keep your defense, support your punches with your feet to make sure that there's always strength in your punches. And second and the third is always try to adapt on your situation. Move, don't stand straight. That moving target is harder to get than a target is always straight in front of you. So remind that. So first, many use combination in boxing is the double left right. So when I make the double, when I make the left jab, my opponents all will try to move backwards to avoid my punch. So that means I will throw a, double, a left again and the right, oh, the right punch to finish it. So left, look, step in, left, right. That's what we call double left, right. So again, left, step in again, left, right. So when I do it more fast, to give you an impression how it is in reality, and back, see, in position, and back. So the first one might miss him, the second one might catch him light, but the right one is the one who will finish the fight. So double left, right, follow, and back. What I do is also now step in. Support your punches, as I told you in the beginning, with your feet. Step, right feet on the ground. My right feet will just try to press myself forward. Left again, and then step in with your right. So again, left, left, right. Your opponent is going backwards, you have to go forwards. So one more time, left, left, right. Okay, give me on the door. And back. Nice. Defense. And the final. Okay. Okay guys, I'm gonna demonstrate you now the left, right, get the left back, right overhand, or what Mohamed Ali called the anger punch. So, we got a practice situation over here. I attack with the left, right. My opponents just see my left, right coming, and he counters the left back. So, when I make the left, right, he counters the left straight to my chin. Left, right, straight to my chin. I will take over the left, right, the left jab. I will take over. So that means I have to react very fast on the left hand and throw my right overhand. So we got the left, right here. Normally wise, we bring the shoulder back to create some power and throw the right overhand. As you can see in the fights of Muhammad Ali, what he does is that he not refers the right shoulder too much. He just step out to the right and throw his right overhand. Very fast. So left, right, go, right. See, again, left, right, show, right. Instead of left, right, from behind, right. Also now, support your punch with your right feet. So step out, left, right, step out, and now throw your right overhand. Again, left, right, Right, left, right, step out, right. So from this side, now you can see the demonstration about the, the right overhand, the very fast right overhand, call the angle punch. Left, right, step out, right. Don't forget, right feet support your right hand. Left, right, right. So one more time, left, right, right. We'll attack left, right. My opponent comes, attack left to my chin, straight, straight, right to my chin. Left, right. So we can defend, we can choose to defend the punch with the hands, or we can choose by only slipping. So slip, slip, to right, to the left. 
Now again, support with your feet. Step, step. Step, step. Step, step. Step, step. Okay, so he comes with the left, right. I step to the right, I step to the left. So step, step. Left hand, hook, right. Straight, go forwards, double left. So left, right, slip, slip. Come back with the left hook, right straight, step in, left, left. So from this side, with a little bit more speed, so left, right, slip, 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 hook, straight, left, left. So from this side, again, step out to the right, step out to the left. Step, step, again, step, step, again, step, step, come back. Left hook, right, double left. Box situation, he throws the right punch to my chin. It's right punch. So what I'm doing now, I choose to defend with my left hand to set him up for a right punch to the body. So when he comes with the left, defend with your left hand. Or the right, defend with your left hand. So he come, defend with your left hand. He comes, defend with your left hand. So if he defend it well, that means he will lose balance. And now I throw my right hand to the body. Step in. Yeah. So he comes, punch. Don't forget, don't give your advantage away by being too slappy. One, two defense. No, it is not one, two, it is one. Punch. Defending and punching very fast, very quick. Yeah, step in. So I come back with the left hook, right uppercut, and then finalize with the right straight this time. Defending, punch. Left hook, don't forget your left feet again. Right uppercut. And from here, I reverse a little bit to make sure that I don't walk on the left hook and come back with the right straight. So basically, it all starts with the defending the first punch and punching. So guys, it all starts with you defending the punch from the other. Getting too slappy means you give him some advantage and he will knock you out. So start first of all with the defending. The right punch come, defending. The right punch come, defending, see? Defend well, yeah? And then throw your right hand to the body, yeah? From here. Then come back with the left hook. Don't forget your left feet. Step in, right uppercut, reverse, right punch, straight. So again, body, hook, uppercut, step back, right straight. So from this angle, you can see it better. The right punch comes, defending, body, go inside, left hook, uppercut, and go back, right straight. So again, body, hook, uppercut, step back, reverse, safely position, right straight. Good. Going back to the left straight. Now we got to go in. We will, we will take a risk now. So when he makes the left jab, defending with your right hand, yeah, I can choose for that. Or step out to the right. So he comes to the left, step out to the right. That's also one of the options. But what I choose for is to go inside to make the left uppercut. And there's the risk. So when he comes to the left, go here, he can throw some punch. He can throw some punch or he can throw some punch. So that means I have to be quicker than he throws his counter hand. So when it comes, uppercut, see? The, the moment he throws his punch, in reality, unconditionally, that means he can never punch with the other hand. That's the moment I have to throw my punch because when he refers his hand, then the other punch can come. Yeah, it makes sense. Your hand is here, there goes the other hand. It's hard to punch here and make the other hand as well. So. You cannot basically wait. One, 
when he throws his hand back. Look, now he can punch with this one. So you have to be more speed. Punch, see? He stretches his hands out, go inside, punch. Comes, punch. Comes, punch. Very fast, go inside. So when he comes with the left hand, step in. Left uppercut. Then reverse again. Rotate on your left feet. Left hook. Right straight. Again, go inside, uppercut. Reverse, left hook, right straight. And why the reversement? To make sure that the right shoulder is going backwards. So when I make the uppercut, bring my shoulder back to make a finalized hard right punch. That's why the reversement. So he comes, move, uppercut, reverse, left hook, right straight. So from another angle, he comes to the left again, step inside, uppercut. Step inside, uppercut. Inside, uppercut. Right hand up. Don't forget, priority number one, defending yourself. So you come with the left again, go inside, uppercut. Come back. Left hook, right straight. So one more time, uppercut, hook, straight. So slowly, inside, uppercut, reverse, left hook, right straight. Final, uppercut, hook, straight. Okay, we got an attack from a left straight with a right hook. So in the fight, straight, step in hook. Straight, step in hook. Left straight to my chin, right hook to my head. Okay, again, left straight, right hook. So the left straight, start with defending with your hand. No slipping, only defending with your hand. Defending with your hand. So then the hooks comes. We, in the beginning we start with the left hook, slip out. We come to the left hook, slip out. Left hook, slip out to the right. The right hook, slip out to the left. Again, slip out to the left. Always make sure that you come out of the zone of your opponent. Your opponent is straight in front of you. He makes the hooks. I go this way or he makes the right hook. I go the other way to make sure that I'm not in front of my opponent to give him more stability to counter. So the left hook, I go here. The right hook, I go here. So he makes now left straight with the right hook, slip. A left jab, right hook, slip. And now again, defending. Step out, that's it. Step out, step out. Lower your leg, don't stand too straight up. Make sure that you slip under the hook, yeah? And don't walk into the hook. So make sure that you bobbing and weaving like this, okay? So left straight. If I, on time, his liver will be open. Then from behind, liver punch. Again, straight, here, liver punch. A favorite from Mike Tyson. The liver punch, left uppercut. Many fights of him I've seen here doing. When he makes the liver, same hand, uppercut. So, defending, one, two, Liver, uppercut. And you have two ways of uppercuts. You got the uppercut, stiff it up, or you got the uppercut, pull back. And that's the one we're gonna do. So, left straight, slip. Now we got the liver, right hand up, and now we got the uppercut, pull back. See, pull back. Jab, slip, liver, uppercut. Slip, liver, uppercut. Don't move too much in your legs. Only thing you have to do is to reverse your left shoulder and throw the left uppercut. So defending, slip outside, liver, move, bring your left, uh, left shoulder behind, uppercut. Okay guys, so that was the counter on a right hook.
at the end, left straight right hook. So now we're gonna count on the left hook. So always make sure that you don't hesitate when you slip under a hook and respond immediately. So we got a counter of, we got an attack of a left hook. So from now, go to the right. And once again, support your feet, your, your movement. So don't stand still and make only this movement because you're still on the place. And when he counters back with another punch, it's difficult to respond. But not when you have balance. Slip, I have balance. I can move here, I can move here. So, slip from here. He comes with the left ear hook, slip. So now we're gonna make use of instability by throwing the left hook in the air. So that creates more space for me to counter when he lose balance. So when he, makes, when he lose balance, body is open. Again, slip, body is open. Then I will make a punch to the plexus. So come here, punch to the plexus. Right overhand to finalize the technique. So again, punch to the plexus, right overhand to the chin. So make sure that you low, bobbing and weaving, low in your leg, he comes again, plexus, head. One more time from this side, plexus, head. So from the other angle, you can visualize it better. Then you can see the body, when I hit the plexus, cross the overhand. Very fast under the hand, slip. So create some instability by your opponent. Now we go to the lift, to the plexus. Plexus, right overhand. Feet work, step in. Plexus from the side, right overhand. Always make sure that you got your opponent uh, covered by your eyes. Never lose any detail about his upper body. Don't give it away. Always be secure. Secure yourself. One, two. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and see you next time.